one of the things that we've learned about ALS over the course of the last uh, decade in particular is that we believe that the majority of the disorder can be accounted for by alterations in what we call RNA metabolism. RNA is just the intermediary between a gene and a protein being made. Uh, think of it as a, as a messenger between the two. You have one gene, you might make a thousand copies of RNA off of that, and from each RNA, a thousand proteins. So this little piece in the middle is absolutely critical. What we've discovered in ALS is that there's a problem right there. That the problem seems to lie in the RNA. We've done a lot of work in our lab over the course of the last years in identifying proteins that are very important to ALS that seem to be expressed abnormally and can be found in the motor neurons that are degenerating in the disorder. This new protein looks like it's one of the critical ones. When we look at all the other ones that we've discovered before, we virtually always find them in association with this new one. Right? So that, what that means to us is that we're one step closer, we think, to the core business end of it all, that all the others seem to complex with it and are involved. So finding that this one is abnormal, finding that it seems to be in virtually all of the cells that we look at, and, in, and by the way, regardless of whether it's sporadic or familial, we're finding it in both. Uh, for it. And then now finding that there's a gene means that we are that much closer to actually understanding truly what is the cause for this.